Uh, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise to you. Boy, Shimmy, I was shy. Boy, Shimmy, Kwa, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word. It's setting the truth on the four corners of the earth. All right. Just right quick. Uh, Spirit just had me look this up, man. Uh, number of Native Americans killed. All right. Now we're going to get into all the trials, but first, let me. Uh, Get this in numbers. All right, so this numbers thirty five and thirty three. It says, "So ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are, wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land." All right, meaning that all the blood that is spilled on the land defiles the land. All right, now we know who has the most blood on their hands, all right, Esau, the so-called white man, you got a lot of blood on your hands that you got to pay for, all right, and the scripture is talking about that, man, all right, for blood, it defileth the land, all right, meaning this land is the most defiled land on the planet, all right, we're going to get into the numbers as I get into this video, all right, but you, you Negro, Latino, Native, Seminole, Indian, which are the Israelites, all right, you are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, or blood has been shed all over this land. So this land is defiled, man. All right, and that's everywhere that Esau go. <laughs> the blood of the people is defiled, or, excuse me, is, 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 is shed on the land, which means the land is defiled, man. All right, how many bodies you think they got over there in the Middle East, man? How many bodies you think they got over there, uh, over on the Far East? All right, Hiroshima, <clears throat> Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All right, fat man, little boy where they dropped the bomb, the atomic bomb. All right, they got a lot of blood on their hands. And they got to pay for that, man. All right. But it says, uh, it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So meaning the only way that your wrongs can be made right is if you get slaughtered like you slaughtered everybody else. Speaking on the so-called white man who is Esau in the scriptures, all right? Let me get one more scripture before I... Uh into the numbers with it. Uh, 35. Okay. Uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast shed, excuse me, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in that time that their iniquity had an end, all right? Shed the blood of the children of Israel, all right? The children of Israel being you Negro, Latino, Native, and Seminole Indian, as I said before, all right? Our blood has been shed, and Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to redeem us, all right? Or is going to justify us, or is going to, you know, uh, give us a level of revenge by judging y'all, man, you know? And the blood of the Israelites continue to get shed today. It ain't, it ain't like like you talk about Esau's conquest, if you will, when he first came over here and started shedding the blood of the Native Americans. All right, you Latinos, and then we we he brought us over here and started doing the same thing to us. That's not the end game of it. It's still going on today. All right, like when you look it up, like it was more uh, lynchings after slavery than in slavery. It was more mutilation and brutal killings of of Negroes after slavery all right so it ain't like it, it stopped so you just you know up in your judgment if you will all right but it says therefore as i live saith the lord power i will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee so since you don't have no problem you know destroying uh the israelites you know and all the other nations but the israelites you know of course we are the chosen people of the heavenly father so you know our blood being shed means more than anything. All right, but because you have you had no problem shedding that or shedding our blood and all that like that, the Most High is not gonna have he ain't gonna spare no expense on you. You know, the Most High is gonna ain't gonna do y'all like y'all did us, but it's gonna be even worse, man. All right, the Most High is gonna render double unto y'all. All right, but just to put it in perspective and get into like a couple numbers. All right, it says indigenous people, which is talking about the Native Americans, north and south were displaced, died of disease. They didn't die of disease. They were they, disease warfare was put on them. 
All right, Esau came with the smallpox and all that shit and various diseases. All right, to kill our Native American brothers, all right, our Native and Seminole Indian brothers, he came with all that shit. So it ain't, they ain't died disease, they were poisoned, all right? It says, and were killed by Europeans, Edomites, through slavery, rape, and war. In 1941, about 145 million people lived in the Western Hemisphere. By 1691, the population of indigenous Americans declined by 90 to 95 percent or around or about, excuse me, or by around 130 million people. So to put it in perspective, the so-called Native Americans or you Latinos that was over here, you all went from 145 million to 15 million. That's how much killing Esau did over here. 145 million people to 15 million people. Now, 15 million people still might sound like a lot, but compared to 145 to start with, that's a lot of bloodshed. So how do you, when you, when you, when you look at how the most high is going to punish y'all, what y'all think going to happen? You think it's going to be a small number or just, you know, a couple people that's going to get judgment for what they did? No, the most high going to run down on y'all like y'all did us. 145 million Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latinos to 15 million. They killed 130 million people and counting. And this your internet, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we, we know most high spirit is on everything, but this your information on here. Y'all, hey, like the scriptures say, they tongue shall fall upon themselves. Y'all put this shit on here. Fool. 100 and, from 145 million to one, excuse me, to 15 million people. That's 130 million people. We just talking about the North. You Native Americans, you Latinos, you so-called Cubans, you know, Guatemalans, Philippines, you know, Mexicans. We just talking about half the, you know, if you will, half the kingdom. We ain't even talking about the Negroes yet, so-called Negroes. All right, and say smallpox. All right, during the 1770s, smallpox killed at least 30% of the West Coast Native Americans. The smallpox ec epidemic of 1780 to 1782 brought devastation and drastic depopulation among Plains Indians. That was disease warfare. Smallpox. See, what they like you to think is these diseases just fall out the sky. You know, these, these are administered. These are created amongst us, man, to kill who? Us. Now, they may be, you know, some Edomites that get caught, caught in a crossfire, but all these diseases is to kill us, man. All right, like when you look at AIDS, man, who who reproduces like we do? That's for us. With sexually transmitted diseases that they create, that's just for us, man. To stop us from reproducing, man. All right. And once again, it's just the Northern Kingdom, man. You know, how many Native Americans were killed in the Americas? Using an estimate of approximately 37 million people in Mexico, Central, and South America in 19, excuse me, in 1492, including 16 million in the Aztec, which is the uh, Israelites, but you, uh, it's Christ, Empire, 5 to 10 million in the Mayan states, 11 million in what is now Brazil, and 12 million in the Inca Empire, the lowest estimates, give, the lowest estimates give a death toll due from disease of 80 percent by the end you know 80 percent of the people i ain't really gonna go into the uh, the wiki all right but it shows how much blood is on your hands all right how many negroes died in slave let's say slave trade See what I say here. Right. And I know it's a hundred million, but I'm gonna try to find it. And these are the slave ships, of course, that we was in. Uh, it's probably not gonna say. Let's say slavery. Yeah, it's hard to find this one, but. I know for a fact uh, in the transatlantic slave trade, which is just 
us coming over here, or the Southern Kingdom coming over here in transit, over 100 million so-called Negroes, you know, the Southern Kingdom died. That's just in transit. Not to mention the number of lynchings, not to mention the, the, the mutilation, just the straight murder, you know, that they committed against and not only the Southern Kingdom, but the Northern Kingdom, which is the Israelites, man, all together. All right. So, again, back into the scriptures. All right. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You got a lot of blood on your hands, man. You eat them and it, and it's, 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 it's undeniable. You know, you may come with your, with your, with your bull crap, all right, about, you know, it was a long time ago, and blah, 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 blah. All right, but we know from the story of Cain and Abel, hey, the blood cried from the ground to the Most High. The Israelite blood cried from the ground. And going back to numbers, it's only one way that you're going to get your just due or you're going to get what you deserve. It says in Numbers 35 and 33, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. All right, just like when uh, the blood of Abel cried to the Most High. All right. It says, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Meaning, since you want to shed blood, your blood got to get shed. These are the words of the Heavenly Father. This ain't us making up. This ain't no revolutionary. I mean, it could be in a sense, but like the modern day revolutionary shit where, you know, oh, we got to get revenge. No, this is the, the, the anger of the Heavenly Father that's going to be, you know, thrown down on your ass. You Edomites, you so-called white folks, and all you other nations, man. Don't get it twisted like the Edomites are the, are the, are the main culprit, but all you are guilty, you know, against us. All you had to play the part in our downfall. All you rejoiced. All you wanted the name of Israel to no longer be in remembrance. All right? So just know that that's your judgment, all right? So I just wanted to make that quick video, man. I hope it was edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.